To get started, we are going to need a couple cloves of garlic that I've just washed. The shell and everything is still on. I'm going to plop that in the water. Then I have some potatoes that I've washed and cut in half. And they're going to boil away for about 20 minutes or so until they're nice and soft and tender. And then we're just going to peel them. It's really easy to peel them after they've boiled and they're nice and soft. Just use a knife or even your finger to peel off the skin. And those pieces of garlic that we've literally just plopped into the water. Here they are. We're just going to take the end of it and just press down on it and the shell is just going to come off. It's that simple. Absolutely no extra effort needed in this dish and it's going to kick up like five notches of flavor. Absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to remove the tips of my garlic there. Now as you can see here, I have, some, I have some melted butter and milk that is nice and warm. And after I've mashed my potatoes really, really well, because you do have the garlic in there and you want to make sure everything really gets incorporated, we are also going to salt and pepper our potatoes really well because potatoes really do need salt to bring out the flavor. I'm going to add in gradually my milk and my butter. Now, I use probably about four to five medium-sized potatoes, and all the amounts will be listed below of how much I use. I did end up using all of my liquid, but I'm going to get in there with my potato masher and mash it, incorporating the liquid, because I don't want it too sticky, but I don't want it runny. So I want it to be a perfect consistency, and that is it. That garlic really kicks this up a notch. It is so phenomenal, and it's creamy. I like to sprinkle a little bit of dried oregano on top, just for a little extra added flavor. But that is it. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.